Thanks for joining us for CBN News Today. I'm Charlene Israel. And I'm Ephraim Graham. U.S. Marines are in the Philippines helping with aid and recovery of bodies in the wake of super, super typhoon Haiyan. Even three days after the massive storm struck, the devastation is still incomprehensible. At least two million people are desperate for help and thousands of people are feared dead. It's being called one of the most powerful storms ever recorded. Typhoon Haiyan ravaged the Philippines, destroying entire cities, towns, and villages, crippling roads and destroying tens of thousands of homes. We don't have, we don't have everything. We don't have houses. As many as 10,000 people are feared dead. Survivors say some areas look like war zones, with corpses in trees and along sidewalks. CBN disaster relief teams are on the ground in some of the hardest hit areas, distributing relief goods to victims. We have lots of water, which is really badly needed in those areas. We have canned goods, sardines, we have rice, we have tents and also mats and blankets. We also have stuffed toys because um, hundreds of thousands of children were traumatized during the typhoon. A team of 90 U.S. Marines are helping in the search and rescue efforts. CBN also coordinated with the military, giving them relief goods for areas that have been cut off from the rest of the country. People have not eaten for days, so we're sending now blankets, mats, medicines, food, rice, all the, the essential uh, things that they need to survive. And uh, we're uh, assembling a group of doctors here and also in Cebu to join our team in the disaster areas. Haiyan affected millions of people when it barreled through the central Philippines Friday. Winds of up to 170 miles per hour destroyed much of the infrastructure and communication lines, making the relief effort that much harder for this island nation. Typhoon Haiyan slammed into northern Vietnam today. Nearly 600,000 people were evacuated. Haiyan has been downgraded to a tropical storm, but experts say it is still very powerful. 